Hey guys, so uh, you can see I already got about a cup of <clears throat> baking soda already in there. I have uh, my other cup of baking soda right here and just because it's white powder, you guys might not know what it is, but it is uh, baking soda. This is a Walmart brand. I also, uh, so I finished this box off which had about uh, just shy of a cup and then I, you can also use the Arm & Hammer uh, baking soda. So just sprinkle it in is from what the the direction is so one one box this is the small box 500 grams one box of this which is uh, roughly two cups so uh, now we're gonna close her up it's good turn this thing on we're gonna want extra hot so probably a sanitize yeah sanitize so the hottest longest setting possible extra hot uh, for me I'm gonna put it on a lower spin because uh, like I said it friggin knocks around a bit uh, soil we'll say heavy soil signal off and uh, yeah, let's do it that's it guys so uh, two hours from now uh, we're going to, uh, that's going to be done, and then we'll do another one with um, some vinegar. And then, uh, so two cups of vinegar, we'll try that out, and uh, yeah, should be all done. It's uh, a cycle, I don't know, 20 minutes into it or so, and you can see some, some soap bubbles there, and it, there's no soap in it. There's just, uh, again, it's just the baking soda and water and uh, so I guess it's cleaning we will uh, continue to watch yeah it's all full of soap in there it's gonna be hard for you guys to see but all that stuff right there it's all soap inside or not soap uh, bubbles so I guess the water and uh, baking sodas looks like it's doing its job alright guys we'll check back with you later hey guys so I've just uh, pre-measured two cups Uh, a little bit over I guess. Uh, two cups of vinegar. Um, again, this is just a Walmart brand. You can use any type of vinegar. I just find this stuff's uh, really cheap and it works uh, pretty good for a lot of uses. So, uh, once, uh, once the cycle is done in about 40 minutes, uh, see, 39 minutes, once that cycle's done, uh, we will put the vinegar in and do an the other cycle. So uh, it looks pretty good, guys. Um, if we can get another angle here. But yeah, there's still suds in there. Uh, it's looking good. I can smell it a bit. Um, I guess one of the other people say you can just throw a little bit of lavender in the vinegar or the baking soda, and that'll just give it a little bit better smell. Um, it, it, it doesn't smell bad or anything. It just, you can smell it's starting to clean, so you can smell some of the maybe the old stuff uh, getting out so yeah throw a little bit of lavender in and uh, essential oil or any other type of essential oil maybe that you might like and uh, it just might smell a little better alright thanks guys okay guys this is the second part with uh, vinegar so I just poured the vinegar in here I started I started the cycle um, and then when the water started coming I just poured it in here it all went in uh, tr trickles in through here and it should all mix up and uh, should be good. So I'm going to let that go for two hours and uh, hopefully it smells a little better and uh, does its job. Okay, it's been about a week after uh, I did uh, the cleaning of my washer and dryer, or sorry, my washer um, with the baking soda and vinegar. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now, it smells a heck of a lot better. Um, that seems like the way to go. Um, I think in uh, my first video of cleaning uh, the washer, uh, near the end of it, I was saying that uh, I might have concerns with the baking soda clumping up or, or settling in, in one of the pipes or something. I don't think I had would have any issues with that at all. Uh, as you can see uh, at the beginning of this video, um, that all the baking soda <coughs> had it sudded up uh, in the cycle and 
while it was doing a cycle. So um, I have no concerns with that whatsoever at this point in time. Um, I think it's a great way to clean. It's uh, definitely cheaper than a lot of those other products or uh, little pucks or pills you can throw in your washer to, to clean it and make it smell good. Um, this works uh, very, very good. And uh, like I said, I've used vinegar before, but uh, I think this is the way to go, guys. Um, if you haven't done this already, then uh, I would say, yes, hey, give it a shot and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, again, we're going to just go over to the washing machine. Um, but yeah, it, it's clean. It smells. We've, we've had several, several, several uh, washes. Uh, no issues. Things are, are, are clean. I cleaned in there. So I don't know if you can see way in, right in there where my finger is going there. But um, I just got a flathead screwdriver with a microfiber cloth and, and spun the wheel. And I got all right in there as best I could. Uh, you could still see a little bit of stuff in there, but um, it's pretty good. You can also get a toothbrush in there, guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, this video is all about uh, just actually getting it clean without buying the expensive uh, consumer or chemical brands of uh, or chemical that you put in here. So, um, yeah, baking soda and vinegar works very, very well. Uh, I would totally recommend it for anybody. That's why I'm doing this video. And uh, this is just an update saying that uh, my washer actually smells a heck of a lot better. Uh, you know, even just cleaning it, it smells a little better, but once you've cleaned it with uh, baking soda and vinegar, you know, I, I can't say much more. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, feel free to subscribe, hit the like, and don't forget to share. And if you uh, like this, and you can tell me how you clean your washer as well, leave a comment down below, and uh, I read all my comments. So um, thanks, guys, and keep learning.